I'm Greg Harper, the LAHD Answer Man, and I get asked a lot of questions about television, and one of the other ones that comes up all the time is, what's this 480, 1080, IP, what does it all mean? Well, unfortunately, it's complicated, but let me see if I can solve it for you. 480i, that is what we call standard television. That's the television that has been around for years. It came back in the 30s, and it the I stands for interlace. And back in those days when they invented television, the television sets weren't really that great. So all they could do was approximately 240 lines of screens. In other words, the TV pictures made up of lines across the screen. And all they could get on the screen at one time was 240. 240 wasn't enough, so they came up with a schema where they do 240 in half a field and 240 in the other half of the field. What does fields mean? Just say that each field, two fields, makes a picture, each field is a frame. And at the end of the day, the 480i had an interlace between the odd lines and the even lines, and it generated the picture that we're all familiar with. That is the legacy. That's the I, interlace, I for interlace. When DVD came along, they said, well, you know, we don't have that problem anymore. We don't have these old TVs that have this problem. Maybe we can come up with a little bit better. So they kept the same number of lines, but they made it progressive. In other words, every line was sent every time, which gave a higher resolution picture. 480i versus 480p. 480p is actually twice the resolution as 480i, because i is only half of the time. The p means the other half. So 480i, standard resolution, 480p, the DVD resolution, a lot better, but still not high definition. When HD came along, there was a big debate as to what we should go. One camp said, let's keep the interlace because we've been doing it for years. The other camp said, no, no, let's go progressive. Unfortunately, when HD was developed, progressive at the highest resolution really wasn't possible. So we had two big camps. One camp said, I think progressive is better. So they went to 720p, which at the time HD came out was the best we could do. The other group said, let's do 1080i, which is like the old 480i. In other words, it's only half the lines, 540, but it's higher resolution, but only 540 lines at a time. So you can argue whether 540 at a time versus 720 at a time, but not have to switch them back and forth, which one's better. That's almost a religious debate. I won't get into it. But 720p and 1080i are the two formats being broadcast today. Again, that's when HDTV was developed. Now, of course, HD technology has gone much further, and we have something called 1080p. That's more or less the holy grail. Nobody broadcasts 1080p, so it's only available right now on Blu-ray players and on some satellite services are actually starting to offer 1080p. 1080p, by the way, only works with digital cables because it's a much higher resolution signal, requires a lot more information. You can only work with the HDMI cable. So, in order of all of this. 480i, that's the standard television you're used to. 480p, that's the resolution that happened with DVD. 720p, 1080i, you can argue back and forth which one is better, but both of those are the standard HD resolutions that you see on television today. 1080p, that's the Blu-ray. That's the newest resolution. That's the highest quality, but you can only get that with a Blu-ray player and a HDMI cable. Hope this didn't confuse you too much. And um, obviously, if you have 1080p, it's better than 720, um, but uh, 720 and 1080 are still wonderful formats. If you want more information, please go to livinginhd.com, and I'll be happy to answer any other questions. Thanks.